Hello guys, it's Matt and welcome to yet again another settings guide. This time, Far Cry 6. Now there are lots of reports surrounding the issues in the optimization of this game but from my experience, the game's performance is pretty solid. I was expecting to see CPU bottlenecks where my GPU usage will drop below 99%, which in past Ubisoft titles such as Ghost Recon Wildlands, Watch Dogs 2, and Far Cry 5 especially would always happen in dense areas with lots of NPCs, environmental props, and geometry. But surprisingly, Far Cry 6 has consistently utilized my GPU at 99%. And for me, turning down the graphics settings from Ultra isn't as necessary as I thought it would be. But there are still FPS drops below the 70s on Ultra, as you can see here, so let's try to fix it. Here are my specs to help you adjust your approach in using my guide and see how you think your own results would fare. Note that I am using the latest drivers for AMD, which is the 21.10.1, which is pertained to Far Cry 6. As always, my rule in optimizing my game is to achieve the best visual quality while targeting at least 70 FPS during general gameplay. For non-recurring moments such as set piece events, unique areas, or real-time cutscenes, I can let frame rate slide down to the 60s. So let's get started by selecting the Ultra preset for us to have the worst case scenario and the only way to go is up. Next, make sure HD textures are turned off. Not only does it consume VRAM like crazy, but the difference between on and off is unnoticeable even in its best moments. And more than that, at its worst, it's far more hideous to look at because of streaming issues where texture details won't load completely when your VRAM hits the 6GB mark. So please, turn HD textures off and for those who haven't yet installed the game, please don't waste your 40 gigabytes on this piece of crap. First up, Shadows. Now this option's performance benefit is insignificant during daytime scenes where the sun is the only light source. But during dusk and night where artificial light sources are replacing the sun, Ultra Shadows does its very big sneak attack. By far, shadows at night are the biggest hitter out of all the settings. And it does make a visual difference when you focus on casted shadows up close. For example, object shadows become less detailed on high, and same thing applies to tree shadows. But without the side-to-side -side comparison, I'd say that these shadows don't look bad at all and they actually look soft and clean to my eyes. To complicate things even further, some shadows still look very similar, such as this one. Just don't go any lower than high because the marginal gains are lower than dropping from ultra to high. So for me, I'd set shadows to high. Next is geometry and vegetation. Now I don't prefer how they merge these two settings because this option controls both draw distance and vegetation density at the same time, but it is what it is, so let's just deal with it. For this setting, I recommend high because Ultra doesn't even look any different. In fact, the far details of vegetation on high already looks well composed to me. So even if you're just getting a few FPS from moving from Ultra to high, you're still not giving up any visual advantages. Sure, you may lose a teeny tiny light source in the distance or some grass in that far away ridge, but would you really care that much? Well, that depends on you. Just don't go lower than high or you'll see pop in say high like a toxic X you're running away from. For me, I recommend high. Number three is environment and let me warn you up front. Don't ever use low because you're going to lose reflections which governs both specular surfaces such as puddles on roads and bodies of water. Going from ultra to high doesn't bring huge FPS on its own, but we'll see how it adds up when we finish this guide later. Visually, it's tricky to spot the difference, but more light sources are visible in the distance and indirect lighting is more accurate on ultra. 
Notice how certain areas are brighter on high where there should be less light and darker on areas where light should disperse around them. But again, these are so imperceptible when playing the game normally, so you can just turn them to high. Number 4 is Water. Now, we know this is usually the last thing we ever tweak in modern games, but for Far Cry 6, changing water down to high brings tangible performance benefits, albeit small in its own, while also reporting no visual change that my naked eye can see. What's weird is that the benefits of turning down the water setting carries through even if bodies of water are not rendered on screen, so for me this is a no-brainer and must be set to high. Anything lower than that I don't really recommend, but feel free to try it out on your own. Lastly, we have AMD's FSR. It has nothing to do with graphical elements per se, but it's kinda impressive as a technology if you ask me. This is by far the biggest contributor to performance if you choose to use it. However, for the best visuals to performance balance, I only recommend the ultra quality and nothing lower. Because even on its highest preset, the artificial reconstruction of the image is quite noticeable, especially along the edges of objects. It looks like those AI upscaled videos to the 1900s which, uh, while they do look clear and sharp from afar, Looking close would reveal crippling black borders along the edges of the rendered elements. But there's just no denying the gravity of its performance gain. In fact, you can forego everything in this guide, just go ultra preset and use quality mode FSR. It will still perform better than optimized settings on native 1440p. So that's it guys, those are the 4 settings you should only focus on. If you're wondering where the texture setting is, it's actually on the terrain setting which based on my testing brings zero. I repeat, zero performance gain when moving from ultra to low. But visually, the ground textures are way more detailed and tessellation is more refined on ultra. Even the VRAM consumption is insignificant between low and ultra. That's why just don't bother with this setting and leave it at ultra. The same thing applies to volumetric fog as well. For me, the difference in terms of performance is not that substantial enough to step down from ultra to a more pixelated fog in high. But if you still want more FPS, just go ahead and knock it down to high. For anti-aliasing, just use TAA since SMAA looks very noisy as you move around and the difference in performance is very insignificant. So to recap, from ultra preset, what we did was turn down shadows, geometry and vegetation, environment, and water all from ultra to high. And also you can use FSR if you want but for me, it's not that needed anymore. Now let's compare the original ultra preset to our optimized settings. Can you see any visual difference? I hope this helped you guys. Please do tell me what are your findings on your own hardware. Do you have other issues with the game? How is your GPU usage inside towns and encampments with lots of NPCs? Are they fluctuating? Just comment down below. Thanks again guys and take care. Bye bye.